welcome back to the Blissful Badger. Today, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of buying new, used and unpainted, and used and painted. Buying new will be the most expensive option. There may be places to find a decent discount. Your game shop, or Amazon, or any of the online retailers that allow discounts. The best part of buying new is the enjoyment of opening the package for the first time. And now that package is used. Buying new allows you to have the instructions, all of the weapon options, freedom to clean the mold lines and sprues as you desire. You can choose which heads you want to use, which weapons you want to use, and how you want to pose them. It is also a blank slate for the painting. Used is generally less expensive. I usually see 30 to 40 percent discounts depending on where you look. If you do not have a local store, I would suggest looking on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, or even Craigslist. Some of the major cons of buying used are weapon options, not always being the way you want. If I wanted these to be set up as wraith blades, I do not have those options. These are wraith guard. The kit has the option for both, but buying used, I can only have them in this layout. The same goes for the Wraith Lord, who only has these weapon options, and the Warwalker that is missing parts. Also, some bits will have been broken. That is supposed to be right there. Or they offer magnetization, but no weapon options to go with it. Also be aware of sprue burrs and mold lines that may not have been cleaned off. This will require extra cleaning now that they're built. Purchasing pre-painted may be even less expensive than used and unpainted. This usually means that they didn't paint them well. It's a color scheme that doesn't make sense for the army. Custom paint jobs are great if you're going to keep the army, but not as much when you're selling them. And they may not be to a high quality. For instance, this color scheme is not bad, but they definitely didn't take the time to paint it well. And I do not know what color scheme they were trying for this. So this will definitely need to be stripped and repainted. Buying pre-painted also doesn't guarantee weapons will make it to you intact. Luckily, these just need a little bit of glue. Sadly, one of the other models is just missing the blade. However, these models do actually look really good, and I'm not even going to repaint them. So sometimes you can get really lucky on those. Also be aware when buying used models, they may not always be on the proper base size. This is a much older base than this for the same model. 
in the end, they all have pros and cons. And so long as you know what those pros and cons are, you can make an educated decision. And I will continue to buy all of them.